It's no secret. It's no secret I've got the best band on television. Oh, but tonight, you all sound just like a little extra special. <laughs> what, what is the magic ingredient tonight? Well, we've added a little Mac DeMarco. <laughs> Mac. Hi, Mac. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much for having me. God bless you. Yeah, we cut off your mic because we like to hear me talk. <laughs> Max got a new album. It's called This Old Dog. Came out earlier this year. Go get it. Thank you so much for being here, Mac. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is a great big movie star. Please welcome Tom Hanks. Steve, your, your, your eyesight always required glasses, right? Uh, since about 14 All right, see, I, I, I've come late to the glasses thing. Uh -huh. I've had so many in my pocket, reading glasses by and large. Sure, sure. But I've just decided, uh, screw it, man. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. The very distinguished. Thank you. Yeah. Not only, not am I only a, an actor, but I'm also a, a mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. <laughs> Tom? Happy holidays. Thank you. Happy, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Merry Hanukkah. Christmas. Uh, sure, happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. all the good stuff. All the good stuff. Happy holidays. Do you, are, are you going to be able to be home with your lovely wife, Rita, for the holidays? Yeah, or? we will. We'll, we'll fight our traditional uh, tinsel war that we always have. What's the tinsel war? Well, here's the thing. I grew up with, uh, essentially, uh, a Christmas uh, decoration scheme uh, by way of Woolworths. Uh, the five and dime. You know, more shiny objects on the tree, the better. Right. Yeah. My, wife, my wife grew up in a household where the kids were not allowed to decorate the tree. Her mom did it. While they were at school, they'd come home, it would be all done. And she'd say, well, honey, you won't do it good, so I have to do it. So, so Rita has this thing about, about decorating the tree, and my thing had always been tinsel. Old school tinsel. Like the individual the, strands. The icicle stuff, but remember when, when we were kids, before we needed glasses, it was made out of literally a toxic substance. Sure. It, it, sure. it, it should have had, sure. do, do not use hands to decorate your tree with this. It was developed at Los Alamos. Some de Yes, yeah. it had a half-life of, uh, and it was a carcinogen. Mm -hmm. You could get diabetes from it. Mm -hmm. um, it gave you zits. It was sure. really bad stuff. And delicious. And, and, and it tasted good. Yeah. Taste, tasted like Christmas, you know, <laughs> it really did. And I, I, when we all, I always put tinsel on the tree, even though now... Do you do strands or you just chuck it? Well, now you can only chuck it because it's not the same carcinogen that it had been. <laughs> it's not the same you know, controlled substance. It, it's now like just strands of mylar that are susceptible to static electricity in the air, and you can't get it to drape over the, 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 the branches the way it had. Uh -huh. It's just kind of like a series of rat's nests that, that collect <laughs> on there. But, but I, we always say this year, we alternate the years. There, there are some years that I, I in, in what's, is this an odd numbered year? It is, yeah. I think in even numbered years, I can't remember, but I get tinsel on the tree. Yes. And it's a, it, we negotiate it, but I have a feeling what has happened is, is every year Rita convinces me that last year we had tinsel on the tree. <laughs> so we, we do not, I think we're not going to have tinsel on, on the tree. He's counting on this slipping. And I am, I'm, I start fighting, but then I, honestly, honey, I don't remember, so okay. Sure. No, no tinsel then on the tree. And you have a happy Christmas. Year. Do you put the lights on yourself? Uh, I didn't this year. Okay. Do you put it from the top to the bottom or bottom to the top? Uh, oh, you got to start at the top, don't that's you? That's what they, I say. They My wife says down. go from the bottom to the top. Well, that's insane. It's madness. She's nuts. I think so, too. Now, do you have multicolored lights or just white lights? Multicolor. Oh. What? Interesting. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? What are you talking well, about? Well, I just think it cuts down on the... On the look, um, I like them to flash. Do you have the flashing lights, that's at least? That's insane. <sighs> flashing lights? We're not landing a plane. 
We're trying to get Santa to stop by. I guess that would be if good. You, if you have multicolored lights, then you're not really sure what color the decorations are. Because a blue one will be Wait right next second. to a gold, gold bulb, and you'll say, it's a gold bulb. It's a blue bulb. I don't know what color bulb it is. <laughs> Are you saying you color coordinate your lights and your bulbs? Absolutely, sir. <laughs> they have they have medicine for that now. Look, if I you don't, don't fight. If you don't understand the beauty of a symmetrically designed and decorated Christmas tree, yeah. get off my show. <laughs> wait a second. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Sorry. I'm it's sorry. just you have such authority. No, I did. And, and, and as well you should. Uh, Gold Globe but, 9 yesterday. Gold oh, thank Globe. you. Yes. Congratulations thank you very much. on that. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you got the rap, you got the Oscars, you got the Emmys, you got the Grammys, you got the everything all over there. It's but all, you, all you, different. you got the, the great, the, maybe the classiest sounding, the most high status award I can imagine. And you've already got the Kennedy Center Award. Yes. You've I already did, got yeah. the rainbow suspenders. I did. But, <laughs> yeah. but you got this yesterday. Uh, can you explain well, to the a few, young people? Yeah, I got it a few weeks ago. This is. Um, uh, this is given out by the National Archives, the Archives Foundation. <laughs> you don't even know. Who no, no, no. It, to me, it was I, to me, it was dinner with Ken Burns. That's documentarian <laughs> Ken Burns. Yeah. And the National Archives Foundation. They gave, they gave a lovely war. We had a great dinner. Uh, it was everything. But the true great thing about it, if you've ever been to Washington D.C., you might not realize it. If you go to the National Archives building, they have a fantastic array of uh, artifacts and documents that you really, really quite can't believe, including. The Constitution. Oh, not that. Not, not the the okay. Constitution of the United States. They have the actual, like this was written down, uh, ink on parchment. Constitution of the United States. Wow. And the most important job in our nation, I believe, is one of the two out of shape board cops who stand right next to <laughs> that, because they stand there all day. You know what they're doing? They're preserving, protecting, and defending the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> Wow. They have done a hell of a job. Wow. Because. Did you get to touch it or anything? Well, it's behind glass. You can lean over it, and they don't even allow photographs of it. You have to buy a $60 replica from the gift shop in order to know wow. what your rights are as a I know, American. I saw a National Treasure. But there it was, there it was. <laughs> we, we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish, establish justice, justice, ensure domestic, domestic tranquility, tranquility, to provide for the, the common, common defense, defense, and promote the general, general welfare, welfare, do hereby our day, to, to guarantee to these blessings, assure, these, assure these liberty to ourselves, ourselves and our posterity, do hereby ordain, ordain and, and declare, establish, establish this president of the world. That was the first draft. That was the first draft. Were you reading the same Constitution that I was? Yeah. Or were you downstairs with a Magna Carta? You tell me what it was. My well, my Latin's pretty good. So then, while they're there, understand this is the archive. They have the records of everything that has ever happened in America. And while I was there, they pulled this out for me. Which this is was, fantastic. This almost made me cry. Who you know, is this gentleman? You know who that is? Who? That is my dad, Amos Mefford Hanks. It is on his 18th birthday, 1942. That is him joining the Navy to, uh, to uh, uh, just a few months after Pearl Harbor. He joined the Navy. That's my dad. Wow. Or, as, or as he is known in the family as old 779159. That's what our nickname was for him. He that's looks... The, that's the number. I gotta say, he looks tough. I had no idea my dad was as badass as he was. <laughs> would, you, would you mess with that guy? No. I don't think this so. This is how we won the war. I think they, they should have just publi published that picture in 1942 and we wow. would have had to go to Iwo Jima. That is That's a, a bad heroic, looking guy. Yeah. heroic unibrow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can we see can it we up see close? A shot? Can, can we see, see that a shot? shot? Look at that. Yeah, I guess so. Really nice. I assume yeah. you pluck. You're not going to mess. You're not gonna, I have actually people pluck for me. So. Uh, You're Tom Hanks. Of course you, know, you are. I have a staff. Well. <laughs> my crack staff. Well, uh, we'll be right back with more Tom Hanks. Stick around. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.